Historic markers, 2,000 of them are spread throughout the state of Pennsylvania. Like this one for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Freedom Now rally back in 65. Or this one for the first organized gay rights demonstrations in all the country. Now, as Hispanic Heritage Month comes to an end, another marker. And the first for a person of Latin descent. Here's CNBC's Valerie Castro. City halls are often the site of unveilings and flag raisings. But on this day in Philadelphia, both were held to honor a woman named Gloria Cazares. This historic marker, the first to be dedicated to a person of Latino or Hispanic descent in the state. This marker will live beyond all of us. This marker will teach future generations about the work that we did, about the work that Gloria did. She always saw the underdog and she was always right there to fight for the underdog. Her cousin Bernadette Jervis says that drive led Cazares to a path of advocacy, becoming Philadelphia's first director of LGBT affairs in 2008. She pushed for reforms that at the time created some of the broadest protections for the LGBT community of any city in the country. Under her tenure, the rainbow flag was raised at City Hall in 2010. It was the first time that a municipal city building had the rainbow flag raised and flying against the others. And she found that she thought that was so important. Her passion for activism grew from her time at Galay, the gay and lesbian AIDS education initiative. She was someone who actually understood that uh, the job of some of us is to foment and, and agitate and, you know, create the spaces for political change. David Acosta is Galay's founder and former director. She was very dedicated to uh, the issues that she felt were important to her. You know, not only the rights of LGBTQ people, but the rights of of Latinx people. The historic marker unveiled last week wasn't the first public tribute to her. This mural that wrapped around a building in Philly's so-called gayborhood told her life story professionally and personally. It went up in 2015, the year after Cazares died of breast cancer at the age of 42. Five years later, the building was sold and the mural was abruptly whitewashed, a controversy that shattered those who knew her. When it got torn down, it was it was devastating. It was extremely devastating. But now this more permanent fixture ensures her legacy lives on. I think ultimately Gloria is a civil rights activist. She, she doesn't fight for just one thing. She would fight for anybody. This historical marker was approved in 2020, but the dedication was delayed until this year because of the pandemic. It was unveiled not only during Hispanic Heritage Month, but also LGBT History Month. It's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which Gloria died of in October of 2014. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.